No why the kicks. They will get it started from their own 35-yard line. Keyshawn Helton on the jet sweep out to the left side, and he'll be pushed out of bounds after a gain of about five. About one. It'll be second and long. Quick pass over the middle and a first down to Cameron McDonald. He has done both at times this spring. Travis Brown again. This time it's Keith Gavin picking up a first down near midfield. And Travis to Florida State relationship worked, and he said immediately straight out of the gate, it was Kendall Bryles who fell in love with him, and then, of course, younger brother Jordan fell in love with Kendall in Florida State. On the run, the throw once again to Cameron McDonald, and McDonald barrels ahead and has the first down. Then he fumbled it. He and that will be it. gold football. Travis stepping up into another throw, and it's another beauty from him. A Darius Dent spun down for a big gain out to the 35. Um, the offense are becoming more like college football. Um, it's becoming like a spread league, uh, four and five wide. Um, the game is changing, so DBs are pretty much, um, besides quarterback, I think the most important position in the field just because. Line ...and what the call is, then you have more time to be able to go tempo and really make defenses pay. Ball marked at the 11, so there's still an opportunity for a first down, and Cam Akers says there's an opportunity for a touchdown. Nice play there for grad transfer. Two more coming in later this year, but what does Florida State find in those five? Because last year, what couldn't happen, which was you couldn't have any injuries turn off. Stepped into one, and that was nearly trouble. I saw who that was, too. Number 27, Florida Atlantic, whether it was Baylor. They've put up points, and they haven't just put up points, Sean. They've been among the best in the country year in and year out. Pump fake Blackman, Keyshawn Helton with the step and all kinds of room. He makes a great move, and he's heading for the pylon. Can the Garnet jersey stop him? There's a flag. And I don't think he got in anyway. He got one line judge saying he did not. Another one who said he did. Blackwood. The gold team up. Roadhouse is actually the kicker for the Garnet squad. a spring game. You don't have to necessarily stick to the rosters if you don't want to. Is wonder if Ricky Aguayo will kick today. It's up and good. That the reason for Goal the little bit of confusion. We all remember the big spring game he had a year ago. and Huge. How much fun he had in the post-game interview with me. <laughs> True. He was fired up and rightfully so as Travis is bottled up. It's like maybe even a yard or two further behind. So third and a mile, and Wilson makes the catch, but he's about five yards shy. Now make it six of the first down. Check down here to Grant. And he'll pick up a bunch of ground out to about, I don't know, three yards. He's a real character, and he's a heck of a football player. No doubt about it. It's an excellent throw, a better catch. I believe that was Matthews. Dent Matthews were able to create a pocket for Wilson to get into and create a third and short. Wilson, another first down. Quarter into the fourth quarter, and Asante had a couple of pass breakups to really flash. Speaking of really flashing, in a flash, Cam Akers scores again for the Garnet. Hello, guys. Doing great. How are you enjoying being back in Tallahassee? Oh, loving it. Two, week, two weekends straight. Can you believe that? So no. you know I'm all in, in in the tag of there. Two weeks straight? That's a lot. <laughs> I got you. That one works, too. I'm a character. That's, that's also he's very a, true. He's a legend. That's also very true. 
and what a great ambassador for Florida State. And Oh, absolutely. He's really come back around the program now that Taggart is in charge. And we can't talk about recruiting uh, on this broadcast, but having him in your back corner is absolutely not going to hurt you uh, in that front. And he said a lot of great things that I think a lot of people who might be a little bit more removed from the program, who watch from places where they can't come to Tallahassee and spend time. And I think you trust that coach, those coaches, to do their job so that you can ultimately do yours. Kalen Laburn picking up another first down inside the 30-yard line. We have another guest down below. Nader for Florida State. And Derek, uh, where do you think that they're going to improve the most on defensively? Uh, right now, you can see uh, that they've been working some different fronts throughout the spring. Uh, some uh, four-man fronts, some three-man fronts, uh, different uh, blitz packages. So uh, they're just trying to get a combination of getting their best players on the field and, you know, being multifaceted. In terms Robinson has the talent to do it. They haven't consistently shown so far through their first three years on campus that they can do it. Uh, but when one man leaves, next man up. And for Florida State, this I think that's going to be a key for their defense next year is can they get after the quarterback. 44-yard field goal attempt, and it is no good. Rod well behind the line of scrimmage. Blackman steps into one. It's tipped into the hands of Keyshawn Helton. A fortuitous break for the Gold Squad. They will take it. Now, Orion Terry, the 6'4 sophomore out of Ashburn, Georgia. Throw over the middle. Treshawn Harrison makes one man miss, trying to break another tackle, but to no avail, he will be bottled up at the 35-yard line, and that'll put an end to the half here at the Florida State Spring Game. The Gold Squad up 20 to 14 as they means to him to come back and be a coach here. We'll see how that pans out. Now, just talking in general about the receivers, he said that a big key for him has been knowing that he's got a group of guys that he can go to war with and a Darius Dent trying to make his case out there on the far sideline. He, he wants to build tough receivers mentally, and that's where the foundation of his coaching tree begins, and his philosophy is through those receivers and the toughness in their mental state. See the call here. Ball came out of Alice Sam. Even more of a situational scrimmage. And that's the thing, too, not just on the O-line. Different position groups were decimated by injuries at times last year. Guys playing through injuries. You mentioned Levante Taylor who played a lot of last season through injury as Jordan Young breaks a tackle and Jordan Young will score. There is some confusion there from Garnet as I think the defender thought that by just touching him that the play was dead but you have to wrap up. In quarter number three, Akeem Dent nearly came away with an interception on a pass intended for DJ Matthews. And that a completion on third down, not enough to get to what you'll see in the fall. I think that first half was about as good of a glimpse as you'll get. As good of an entree, so to speak. Alex Marshall checking in. Lined up in the slot. And that'll go to Morion Terry. Kalen Laburn, breaking tackles. Good to see him back out there after getting dinged up. Laburn on the carry. He wants to run through people out there. <laughs> yeah, he's a guy who really showed against Virginia Tech in that season opener what he can do with the football. Now here's Ontario Wilson. Nice run after the catch there from Wilson. And so that will be something to watch as fall camp comes around and what five Florida State end up going with to protect for James Do that this year. I definitely believe Akeem Dent is in for a nice year. Fourth down play here. Elisami evades pressure, steps up, and tries to pick up the necessary ground there. Trust will translate onto the field from the players to the coaches as well. And no one's saying Florida State has to go 12 0 this year. Or even oh, goodness, no. 10 and 2. You just need to see obvious improvement. Mm -hmm. Both transferring into the program here in Tallahassee as Keith Gavin makes a catch around the 10-yard line. 
they're a really good basketball team. They're full of experience, full of veterans, and Sean DeAndre Hunter is a difference maker. I like Virginia to win the, win the national title. Can't argue with that. As Cam one left, but like you mentioned, scoreboard says zero. Low snap there to Elisami. He steps up and fires one over the middle. It's tipped and nearly picked off. Raymond Woody the third nearly inside 20 seconds now. Clock continues to run. And there's a first down to DJ Matthews who steps out of play across the 40. And tells the official stop the clock. No running clock when I say so. And so 10 seconds left. Alasami rolls out to his left. Now fires over the middle. And that ball falls short of Adarius Dent. And that will do it. The final score here in Tallahassee, the gold team winning at 27-21.